Hey, welcome back to my channel. I'm going to be showing you guys a bunch of clothes that I've been accumulating over the past few months now. I've been doing so much thrifting and online secondhand shopping, which is kind of like online thrifting instead of buying fast fashion lately. So I wanted to show you guys all the stuff that I've bought and I've really been coming more into my style now. So I thought I bought a few interesting pieces and I would like to show you guys with this haul and try on. Don't mind if my hair is looking a little bit crazy in some clips because I'm new to doing curtain bangs. I do not know how people keep them looking okay throughout the entire day because they look wonky as sh right now. And also, how do y'all not get lip gloss in your hair and hair in your lip gloss? Because it's just it's bugging the crap out of me. Like... There's so much gloss in my hair right now. I just, yeah. Also, if you see any black stuff on my hands, my hands are not dirty, it's hair dye. There's so much stuff I have to get through. Um, since these are thrifted secondhand, I will leave like the website and I, if I can find the price and the brand name on the screen. Can't really find these pieces, so I guess brand names would help you find similar pieces if you are searching for those. And before we get started, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, that like button, that notification bell. Comment down below if you like this video. I know people say that's annoying, don't push it onto your subscribers, but this is YouTube, let's be real. Subscribers, likes, it helps. It helps the channel out. You don't have to, okay? But if you want to, go ahead and click on it. All right, so that was kind of corny. I'm gonna breeze through these because it's a lot. It's, it's, it's a lot. I've kind of, I kind of bought a lot of stuff. So, yeah. So to first start off, I bought this skirt um, a while ago. It is this mini skirt. I've been buying so many mini skirts, my God. But it is pinstriped and it has so many like button details and it's a little bit kind of like cargo. Things I love put into one item. Um, it is by Levi's, OG Levi's. Um, next up, I really love these pants. I know I got these off of eBay and it was a steal. They're by the brand Impression. And as you can see, they are covered in studs. And especially the side detail is cut out and covered in studs. I don't like the spiky studs. Let's leave that in 2010s. But the flat studs, the like 90s, early 2000s type of studs, I think are cute. And yeah, they're just really cool. They're so unique. I don't have any pants or jeans like this. They fit a little bit um, mid-rise, high-waisted, I think because they're a little bit big on me. But I'm going to try to shrink them the best way I can in the dryer. My bad if I'm going like from clothes to shoes to skirts to jackets. I just, it's too much to have it in complete order. So bear with me. So next are these boots and they are in this burgundy wine color i'm not a huge burgundy fan but i feel like they're more on the wine side and just something about them made me want to get them i got these actually off of thread up thread up your shipping is horrible i, I honestly wait they might see this video but i'm gonna be honest your shipping your shipping's terrible i don't know how to describe it but i guess maybe like crocodile um print i'm pretty sure they're fake though but crocodile type of print on the front and kitten heels are making a comeback so i thought they were super cute next is this denim skirt um another mini skirt i know it's like this classic early 2000s wraparound band on the front they're by the brand ymi and i remember this brand fondly um as a young kid in the mall i remember seeing this brand in like macy's and jc Penney's, which i did talk about but obviously they're making a comeback and this skirt is super cute it has a slit on the side i got this from ebay so you know that was already a steal next are these carhartt men's relaxed fit cargo pants in the color like gray and I got these off of eBay. 
I honestly have been loving Carhartt. Something about like workwear, a lot of Carhartt in this haul because I've just been loving it lately and like mixing it up with different styles. Um, I know they're inside out because I just washed them, but you'll be able to see them in like the try on clip. Next is like this interesting mesh. Oops, it's upside down. This interesting mesh long sleeve top. Honestly, I got this off of eBay and I don't think it's worth the money I paid for it. Even if I did pay cheap price for it, I feel like this should have been like two, three dollars because it's so stretched out, which I didn't know. But I guess it fits all right in the try on. It is by Express and it just has this cool, like, mesh detailing that reminds me of like i don't know how to describe it but it just kind of gives me like that decaying deconstructed look which i think is super cute and something about this like taupe washed beige color is really cute to me again off of ebay i got these low rise pants and they have like this brown fading on them you'll see them better in the try on they are by the brand hot kiss which I'm pretty sure is like an early 2000s rave brand, if I'm not mistaken. Maybe they're not rave, I don't know, but they have this cool, like, random belt looping here where it's like the buttons on the inside, and I just thought that was a cute detail. They're super low-waisted, so I don't know how comfortable I am wearing them. Um, they flare out and have a slit on the side. I got these off of eBay. You'll probably be able to see it better again in the try on but it is this maxi skirt it's a bit inside out but it's like sheer and it kind of gives me that cute like grunge fairy core i know some people call that aesthetic musty which i can see i can see your point with that but i kind of think it's cute so it's just this tiered skirt maxi skirt which is super trendy Next, I have another mini skirt, and it is also a denim mini skirt. This one is a bit of darker denim, and as you can see, it has a lot of, like, zipping um, details. And I don't know if you can see that, but it has, like, a bit of embroidery. And especially the back has, like, V type of stitching, and the front has vertical stitching, and the fact that it, like, zips open. I got this off of eBay. It is by the brand Spoon Jeans, SJ, Spoon SJ Jeans. So well, that's a random name, but I thought they were so cute. It is also, as you can see, very micro mini, which I've been super into lately. Um, I got this from Savers Thrift Store, and it's just like this basic baby tank top. Um, I got it because it was only like $2, and it's super thick. And I thought it would be cute to just throw on with stuff. It is by the brand BYC. So like a cute basic to have. Next, I also got from Savers. Um, it is by the brand Ink International Concepts. So it is like this 90s style. No, actually, I'm dumb. I got this from salvation army it is a turtleneck and it has a bit of ribbing but it's like super tight and thick i thought it'd be a cute basic to have this vintage star wars tee but the print is in chinese it is just so cool like i love star wars even though mind you a lot of star wars to my knowledge, my new knowledge, bit off of a lot of Asian culture. Let's pay attention to that. Cultural appropriation is not okay. But I thought this top was very cute and it looks like very like super worn. And it's like the classic like um, Star Wars theatrical poster. So I love it. And yeah, I love it. I got this off of eBay, by the way, and it's the original Star Wars brand. Next from Savers, I don't know why I bought this, but I just, I don't know, I felt the need to buy it. It is like this lace top, I'm pretty sure it's kind of like Spanx-ish underwear because it's super 
form fitting and I just feel like it'll look super cute under just any type of clothing. It is by the brand Prime Cut. Next, like I said, Carhartt would be rearing its head again in this haul. Um, I got this very cute Carhartt hoodie. Honestly, this hoodie is so heavy duty that it kind of hurts my arms to hold it up, but I know when it gets colder that it'll be great for me. It has the classic Carhartt label on the front. It is a dark brown color. The hoodie, a classic zip up. You'll see it better on the try on, but this thing is so heavy, like, and it's super worn. I got it off of eBay, so it has a bit of like fraying and like fading and tears but i think that just adds to the certain like look i like with carhartt or used carhartt items another carhartt zip up hoodie but this has like extreme fading fading on it that it brings like this very cute like ombre effect to it and it's like this very interesting color and like the ombre is like so perfect like I don't know how to describe it it just looks like it was purposely done even though I know it wasn't it was probably on some guy's back while he was out in the sun doing construction work because the way it smelled I had to wash it like five times to get like that grown man musk scent out of it it has of course again the classic carhartt label on the front very heavy duty surprisingly though even though this jacket is bigger the brown carhartt hoodie is heavier and much more dense but either way they're both like super heavy duty and i love them honestly this brown Carhartt pants. You'll see it better in the try-on since they are inside out since I just freshly washed them and I put these in the dryer so they shrunk because these are men's pants and I do not remember the waist being this much smaller. They're still probably bigger waisted or like low waisted on me but they do seem like they fit a little snug which I'm not mad about because obviously men's pants don't really fit me that well. And they're just like this nice cocoa color uh, leather label on the outside which i thought was super cute okay, all the carhartt stuff i got from ebay next also from ebay i got this i don't know how to describe it i want to say it's like fairy grunge core type of look it's a lot of browns and neutrals in this haul but i find those colors are super cute if i don't want to wear like black and white I can like mix it up a little bit i don't know the brand i'll have to look on the listing because there's no tag on here next i got this skirt which i'm pretty sure i'm going to be reselling because it does not fit me it is this chevron print i'm pretty sure it's like called twill or something material and i really wanted to like it but it really does not fit me at all it's way too big it is by the brand mud you guys should know mud because it was super popular in the early 2000s next item this wasn't really thrifted but was in my grandma's garage and it is this ed hardy tank top um of course you know the classic ed hardy look it is actually dead stock new with tags i don't know how i feel about this top i think if it was in a more like neutral color or like in black or gray or even like pink or even if this tank top was in blue i feel like i would like it more for whatever reason i don't tend to gravitate towards the color red with clothes so i don't know how i feel about it but it is cute i will admit next are these boots i'm kind of obsessed with i got these off of ebay i don't even know how to describe them brown platform boots and they have like a little bit of like fur trim on the top and on the sides and they just remind me again of like that grunge fairy core type of look they, i love them so much i haven't even tried them on but i'm pretty sure they fit me and they're just super chunky super just vintage beat up worn 
and faded look brand is honestly i don't even know the brand it doesn't even say or have a tag that says the brand um i'll try to find it on the original listing but i love 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 these boots next are these blue boots and i didn't thrift these these actually were found in my grandma's garage and they are just just take a moment to look at these boots because they are just so pretty like the blue is just so beautiful um in my previous video i had blue hair and i was gonna do like an outfit look with that blue hair and blue boots which i probably should bring back so i can just do that picture really quick chunky sole square toe and if you can look really closely it has like a watercolor type of effect which is super pretty um it is by the brand diba d-i-b-a usa and they're just so they're so cute they're so beautiful i really love them these ankle boots which are by the same brand kind of the same style too but just like an ankle silhouette and also in a like brown type of like auburn orange color and the same like watercolor effect which makes it so pretty patent leather um boots i really like these too not as much as those but i still really like these and love these um also by the same brand of Deba. lastly i'm pretty sure wow we got through this pretty quick but lastly from goodwill is this leather jacket by ann klein and i have a bunch of leather jackets but this one is different because it's more of a like sporty silhouette with the zip up um look to it and i really love it it is in such good condition honestly and just you can't go wrong with different types of leather jackets i think it adds a little bit of oomph to a look and i love it that was my haul i hope you enjoyed it if you would have asked me two years ago if I would have liked any of these clothes, I probably would have said nope. So it shows that my style is evolving, which I love because now I'm feeling more comfortable with wearing clothes and expressing my style. And honestly, it's so much better to buy secondhand um, and thrift rather than buying from fast fashion because recycling these trends making it more sustainable is better for the earth and to just cut back on the waste and a lot of this stuff that our moms and aunts and grandmas were wearing is honestly cute and I'm glad it's back in style when you have like this resurgence of fashion from 2020 on to 2021 I love that. And go ahead and hit that subscribe button, that like button, that notification bell if you like this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.